Okay. Let's get things set up here. Hey, One Vision, how you doing? Let me get the link up here. Yeah, I think we're pretty much ready to go now. I'm guessing. One vision, uh, not too bad. Happy Easter to you. Happy Easter, everybody. <clears throat> I hope everybody's doing well and, and spending a little bit of time with family or, or whatever. I know me and I are here. Me and I went out and did a ship this morning. And... Um, so we've kind of been keeping busy. Right, me? Yeah. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. So how's everybody else? Any, anybody have big plans on Easter? Here comes Mr. White, Mark White, joining us. The um, Easter 2014, 2024, not 14. <clears throat> <laughs> now, now, Paul, we don't need to go back 10 years. Happy Easter, Mark. Happy Easter, Paul. The, um, the controller... Worked a little better this morning, yes. It, Good. It, was, it wasn't as janky. and um, Those settings make it smoother, yeah. Except what happened was, is when I went to take off, uh -huh. it came up and said no SD card, and it was going to put it on the hard drive. Well, I checked, and the SD card was in there, but it, the ship was coming, so I took off. So then when I came back, I had download the SD card. Uh, um, right, yeah, yeah, so well, at least it's got eight gigs in it for you to record things on anyway, so right, which is good. You just have to take that SD card out and form well, no, format it while it's in the drone, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> so, um. Well, make sure you've got everything off the SD card that you need before you format it. Sure. Well, I, what I do is I have one SD card for every drone. You know, just that's just what it gets. So it, it gets formatted after every time I download something. Right. Okay. But yeah, they, uh, they work better if you format them in the drone rather than if you format them in the computer. One vision is at work. Where, where on you Sunday. Work? Where you work, One Vision? Yeah, it's Sunday and Easter too. So maybe he's, in, maybe he's in the service industry. Maybe he has to work. Yeah, it must be. I Unless he's even Tim Jackson has uh, today and tomorrow off. Yeah. Well, it's what is it now? Sunday night there, isn't it? Yeah, where Tim is, right? Yeah. In fact, it'll be midnight, I think, there now. Somewhere about. Yeah, I'm thinking you're probably right. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
Usually I, I put Dominic in charge of that, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, even Dominic's an hour in front. Actually, I don't know if their clock's changed. No, their clock's changed next week. Oh, uh, One Vision doesn't go to work until 1 o'clock. What One Vision, what do you, what do, you do? Um, what kind of work do you do? Well, you're late then, Dustin, because it's two o'clock here. <laughs> Because our clocks went back this went forward this morning, so we're all back to five hours in front of you again now. Oh yeah. Oh, he works at Mickey Day, Mickey D's. He's he's in. The, I I went to. Uh, don't tell anybody, but I went to Tim Hortons and got some Boston creams this morning on my way back from flying. Wouldn't expect anything else. <laughs> So I figured to celebrate Easter, you well, know, yes. all the families around the world are picking out today. Mm. Yeah. If you'd rather have Boston creams than chocolate, then good for you. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Was it a nice boat this morning? Yeah, it was uh, um, a little bit dark, um, and, uh -huh. and I stepped it up a little bit, but I didn't step it up enough. But I uh, let me let me um... yeah. Either that, or wait until a few more people who come in to show it. I mean, the the moment is only me and Dustin, isn't there? <laughs> it's the Lee Tragertha. The... Uh huh. Oh. Hey, hey Justin. Justin, how you doing? Oh good. What's up, Dusty or Dustin and Cool Cat and Mark? Oh, it's Michael there as well. Hi Michael. Yeah, <laughs> hey, I'm gonna show it to you just in case. Can you see it? Uh huh. Yeah. What happened? Something happened or something? No, nothing. Uh, no, I flew this morning and it flew better. Oh, okay. But As you can see, it's a little bit dark, but. Yeah, it's pretty cloudy out. Yeah, to record it. Well, besides, on it was cloudy, too. So. Internal memory because his SD card didn't work. Oh yeah, that's not. You can tell that's way different than yesterday. You were like almost struggling to go up the side of the ship. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, you seem to be a lot uh, sturdier or steady. The settings, there. the settings are much better. Yeah, you seem to be a lot more steady there. Not jerking the. the uh, yeah. Doesn't look all jerky like it did yesterday. Yeah, well, at least you got it all set up now. Good. It is. Lee A. Trigger, Trigger, Trigertha. Lee A. Trigertha, mm. yeah. <clears throat> What's up, Joe? Joe said he's on Johnny's panel. He'll be here in a little bit. Oh, cool, Joe. Oh, yeah. Johnny, Johnny's doing his show. That's fine. Yeah, he's morning coffee. Yeah. yeah. See, I, I'm right here. Yeah, right there where you're sitting. Yeah, you, like I said, you seem to be nice and smooth. You're not going up too close to the ship anymore. That's good. Felt more in control of it. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't feel as whippy. Mm. There you go. Good job. 
<clears throat> oh, that thing is pumping out some sweat. Even when I came back and landed and stuff, it didn't seem to be as goosey, you know? Yeah. I, I appreciate everybody helping me with that because it's, it's like Justin tells everybody... Teaching me something is uh, that that that's a job. Oh, well, the problem is, is when you got ten people on the panel and everybody's trying to tell you to do something, it gets yeah, yeah you confusing. Were, I suppose, yeah. And you were getting super flustered the other day, and that's why mm -hmm. I was telling everybody just let's, let's sit back, take a break for a minute. Because mm -hmm. <clears throat> usually Paul doesn't have a problem when he gets on the phone and talks to somebody to do something like that. Yeah, because it's only them two to talking. One. Yeah. Cool <clears throat> cat said, "I love those big old ships." Joe said, "Glad you like the settings, Paul." Yep, I like them a lot. Made a difference. It made a difference. And you know. Um, what was nice too was Captain Joe was able to sit right there with his drone and his and his his uh, controller and kind of like guide me a little bit. Did you uh you get your Inspire today? Some, no, it's Tuesday. Got... Oh, YouTube I thought in you were the background today. Oh, I thought you were supposed to get it yesterday. So everybody kept telling. Well, me. that's what they kept saying, but then they changed it to Tuesday. Yeah. Uh. Mm. I can hear YouTube in the background. Well, see, sometimes people will print the print the uh, labels, and then it registers as it's you in the system, but it hasn't been picked up yet. Right. And then it, yeah. some sellers will sit around for two or three days before they take it to the mail to drop it. And... Yeah, Russell, I'm looking forward to mine. Did you get yours, Russell? Hi, Russell. Russell ordered one, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. He did, didn't he? I think Russell will have fun with that, to be honest with you, because it's just like a whole different experience flying oh, one yeah. that big. Yep. I mean, I've never forgot to actually fly one, but I know that's got to be a whole different experience. It's a different ball game, that's for sure. Mm. Okay. Uh, Night Train says label printed, waiting for pickup. So did he, did, did uh, Russell buy Night Trains? No, Mike doesn't have a Inspire. Mike's only got a Phantom and a Mini Two, or two Mini okay, Two. So what? Oh, what? What did Mike buy? A, a a Mini? No, he's buying another printer. I think. Oh, a printer. Okay. Yeah, he's supposed cool. to be getting another bamboo printer. <clears throat> he must have ordered that today. Then, if that's what he's talking about. Yeah. Because we were just talking about that. It was yesterday. He said he hadn't ordered it yet. Is waiting for one of his credit cards to get cleared off. Yeah, Mike was saying that that was what the, it should have said on the tracking for Paul. Oh, uh, okay. Well, it's obviously not coming to post office because apparently they don't like shipping shit that big. So yeah, it's UPS. Do you know where it was coming from? California. Uh, okay. Well, how the fuck is it taking that long then? Well, it'll take a couple of days, won't it, to get across from California? Yeah, but he ordered it like what a week ago, right? Was it Monday or Tuesday, you ordered it. I think it was Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, it should have been there by now. Plus, UPS got backed up or they lost it and then found it again. That happens sometimes. Well, I know when my radio came from Fly High, it ended up going round in circles in Illinois. 
for some reason before it actually went to Chicago and flew out of O'Hare down to Heathrow. Yeah, they'll do that sometimes too. Like you'll see your package will be bouncing back and forth. And then I've seen packages go past me down to another post office and come back up to me. And then come back up, yeah. I don't know why they do that or if there's a reason behind that or if... Uh, Just the closest distribution point, I suppose. Yeah, or it could have been that it got mis sent to the wrong location. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't like shipping shit with the post office anyway. I don't trust them. They're... I've never had issues with UPS or FedEx, but the post office, I've had so many issues with them. I hate using like, them. Like David was saying the other day, he ordered something that was only about half a mile away from him, and it ended up going like 150 miles up to Birmingham to the central hub and then back down again to where he was. Well, see, if you ship something, I've shipped things through the post office locally, like that was only like ten miles away or something, and mm. they it didn't go out of the the it didn't go out of the city. It just you know it bounced from because we have two different post office in our, in my city, so it went from one to the other and then got delivered. <clears throat> Usually, if it's local delivery, it shouldn't leave the actual city. La Mirada, California is where it's coming from. Okay, I know where that's at. I, well, we've, we've I got, think that's I Northern no California. no idea where that is. Pretty sure that's Northern California. We've got two different forms of delivery with our post office. We've got the normal Royal Mail, which is letters and small parcels. And then if you send big parcels, you send it via the parcel force so it's estimated delivery yeah yeah when it says out for delivery that's when you know it's on your way to your house yeah i still remember buying shit off, off out of magazines and stuff back in the 2000s <laughs> it took like a month to get to you <clears throat> Amazon got everybody hooked on two-day delivery. Now you have to wait a week, dude. You start getting pissed off. <laughs> I've just ordered three batteries for that F500. Oh, did you? £103 for three batteries off Alibaba. Now, how long will that... What's the flight time on that thing? I am the foggiest idea. About 10, 15 minutes, I think. But I got 6,000. The, the ones that I've seen have been using 4,500 milliampere hours, and I've ordered a 6,000. Have they? Uh, have you watched any like old videos on it or anything? Yeah, I've watched. There's not that many of them, but I've watched what I can find. I guess a lot of people back when that came out didn't really have a lot of drones. There wasn't a lot of people flying then. No. Because that was early, early days of the drones. It Real was, early yeah. Days. Oh, yeah, you can like see that. First by, year. by the way it's made, it's it's all plastic and all the the legs and the arms are all like lattice work plastic. <laughs> Well, not to mention uh, the DJI FP or the DJI drones back then looked like homemade FPV drones. They didn't well, it, look it, like. Good morning, it Jim. Came as a kit when you bought it. You right. Had to it, build it up. Yeah. Right. It doesn't look nothing like you see these days. No. Like you would never no. see DJI probably ever release something like that again. <laughs> no, possibly not. The only thing I've seen them release in the past. I think the only thing they've released in the past five years that was even buildable was that little stupid robot that they they did. The one that was way overpriced, in my opinion, it was. I think Not it was like that. It, it was the little robot on the bot that that drives around on the ground, and it, it, you can get two, you can get multiples of them, and you can have like laser tag and shit with them. You can play laser tag All and right. stuff with them. 
what little uh, tracked things? Uh, I'll I'll find a picture here in a second and show you, but <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was really. I don't know. In my opinion, it was way overpriced because I think it was like six or seven hundred dollars for it. Wow! And it was just a little tiny robot that drove around on the ground. It wasn't nothing special. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it looked like a hundred dollar RC car you'd have bought at Walmart with le with a laser tag system built into it. Like that's what it looked like. All right. Mm -hmm. And the only person I know that ever got one, I think, was Art. That was it. He's got old ass videos from like three, four years ago of him putting it uh, together and driving it around. No, I don't think any of not a lot of people bought that thing. They still sell it though. I believe they still sell them. Right. Like I said they're they're cool and everything. They're just to me they were way overpriced uh -huh. for what it for what it did. It didn't really do a whole lot. Now, I did think I do think it had a I think it had a system built into it where you could code it if you wanted to. But yeah. it still didn't that to me didn't justify the price. Okay, I'm gonna screen share again. This is that this is that controller that I've sent out to Dusty. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, the the original basic controller. Yeah, yeah, the N one. It ended up in Detroit at a set. That probably that's a sectional center, and it'll go out from there. When's the estimated? Estimated on that delivery one? Tuesday. Okay. Oh, I was looking on Amazon, and they had them for eighty, ninety bucks for those controllers. You can find yeah. open box ones for about eighty dollars. They're they're not really going for that much anymore. <laughs> nobody's using them anymore. Everybody's freaking. Well, I'm I'm just as happy to pass it on because I think he could use it, right? Oh yeah, for sure. Because uh, the oh, one yeah. he had he had one of those, but I saw, I guess there were some buttons that were broken on it or something. He was able to use it to basically fly, but I think some of the features were he couldn't use some of the features because of the buttons. Oh, uh, this is. I don't know if Mark can see this, but this is the RoboMaster. Oh, six hundred bucks. Oh yeah. Are you gonna get one of those? No. I can. I, I can see you with the Robo. I think it was overpriced myself, but it did have an FPV camera on the front of it. Probably uh, equivalent to maybe Mini One camera, maybe. Yeah, it looks odd, awesome, doesn't it? I mean, it's cool and everything, but like I yeah. said, I wouldn't pay six hundred dollars for something like that. Because yeah. honestly, I would probably play with it for a week and get bored with it. Looks like a Mars rover type thing, doesn't it? Yeah. No. Oh, no. Our, our, oh! Mike no. said that Art actually won that at spin up, so he didn't even buy it. No. Okay. Why? I see no. Oh, Randy, I like that uh, camera that you uh, did your video on. That was pretty cool. That seemed like a really good uh, dash cam. It's hard to find good dash cams, man, with, that have, don't have shitty pictures. <laughs> but that dash cam he was uh, did his uh, video on, that was actually a pretty good dash cam. It seemed like for the price. Will you be quiet? Don't Somebody's me. pupper dog's talking to him. Yeah, she is. Come here. Come here. The food's in a bowl in her kitchen. She wants to be where I am. I hear you about that. And I'm not fussy enough. She'll stop barking if I stroke her. And as soon as I stop stroking her, she starts barking again. Huh. She, she wants your... He, you, you're you're her daddy, and she wants That's the it. attention. Yeah. Well, the trouble is she stood too far away for me to actually reach her. 
And that's the thing, Mike. Like, if you want to use all the cool features of that robot, you have to have two of them. So you end up spending a thousand dollars or like twelve hundred dollars. You got to have two of them. Yeah, if you want to play the little laser tag oh. games and all that that it has, you can't do it unless you got two of them. Really? You can have battles between them. Yeah, if you if you wanted to to play the games that are built into it with the little oh. gun on it, and everything you'd have to have two of them to do it. So that's why I said if you wanted to actually play with that robot and play with the full features, you'd end up having to buy two of them. Otherwise, there'd be some stuff you'd never be able to use on it because you wouldn't have another one to to test it on. <clears throat> if it was around like two hundred dollars, I probably would have bought one back when I first got in the community. But because I was actually kind of interested in it, but not for six hundred bucks, I wasn't. What kind of dog is that? A boxer? It's a bull mastiff. Bull mastiff, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she looks a little bit like um, a Staffordshire Terrier. Staffordshire Bull Terrier. How much does she weigh? 110 pound. That's actually kind of small for a bull mastiff. They're usually a lot bigger than that. There are three different types. There's the bull mastiff, the English bull mastiff, which is a little bit bigger, and the American bull mastiff, which is bigger again. Yeah, that's the one that's like 150, 170 pounds. Yeah. Beast. Yeah, those things looked, are huge. We looked <laughs> at one of them first at a different place than where we got Whoa. precious from. But they were going on about all these different things and saying how it was there because they couldn't control it, the original owners, and it ripped curtains to pieces, and it didn't like traveling <laughs> in cars and all sorts of crap. And we thought, well, if you're going to put all that to what's it, forget it, it doesn't make any difference. But it was a lovely dog. Well, but I mean, mean the, 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 it's kind of a double are, When people are willing to take them on and, and sort them out, they should appreciate that not throw obstacles in the way well it's kind of a double-edged sword right you can't you don't really not want to tell people that they're doing that kind of stuff but at the same time it's harder to adopt them when they got a lot of problems like that mm. you, gotta, you gotta have the right owner like you said that's willing to take it on and try to try to control it and all that and get it under control and teach it and train it that's it i Was mean your... if it's doing stuff like that it's because of a reason it's not getting the attention it's not being walked enough it's not being loved enough and it's it's frustrated so it, it does what it wants yeah <coughs> that's yeah. why we try to run bow as much as we can because boxers are very high strong and oh, if yeah. they don't get enough don't exercise like bow if he doesn't get enough exercise throughout the day he'll be up at like 11 o'clock at night, just sitting there barking because he's all wound up. And uh, and so we started giving him some chews that kind of calm him down. And then he also goes outside and we make sure he gets a lot of running back and forth through the yard. Yeah. yeah. My the, mate, neighbor, the neighbor dog keeps him busy. A couple of doors down from me. When we were kids, I used to go around and knock at his door. They had a boxer. And you'd knock on the front door and then you'd step back and you'd hear ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. and it launched itself at the door and the door went <laughs> and shot back and forwards. But yeah, it, got it, was... its, it actually got itself in the local newspaper because there was one time they'd left like the the bay window had two opening windows, full-size opening windows at either end of it, and they left one of them open slightly. So it jumped out the window, and its collar caught on the window handle, and it pulled the whole bay window out. Oh, shit. <clears throat> now, the neighbor dog keeps uh, Bo busy. They got a big old German Shepherd. 
and they run back and forth along the fence line chasing each other. <laughs> <clears throat> so I'll put them out there, and Bo will spend an hour out there just back and forth, back and forth, up and down the fence. Him and the dog have literally... I was talking to the neighbor one day and we were laughing because both dogs have literally built a trail on the side of the fence on both sides where they <laughs> ran back and yeah. forth so much. You can yeah. see a, a perfect trail that they've made. Mm. <clears throat> and I have a feeling if they got if they got into the same yard as each other, they'd probably be friends. I mean, they growl and bark at each other. Yeah. Like they hate each other. But uh Bo's not really the type that he he doesn't He's not really aggressive with other animals. Like he's been in, like we've taken him to other people's houses for barbecues where, you know, they were like, everybody bring your dogs over and let them play and stuff. And yeah. we've taken him over there and he had no problem. He went right in, played with the other dogs. And well, he did. He did. Yeah. The people in the house at the bottom of the garden, of my garden, that one there, they have a young bull mastiff that is only just over a year old. It's as big as precious, and it's dark grey. And sometimes it manages to get itself through one of the loose fence panels between our garden and theirs and comes into my garden. So I don't mind, because it doesn't do any damage. It just runs around. And occasionally, like, because they're quite friendly with each other so I just let Precious out and they run around the garden together oh shit my chat froze let me catch up on this chat uh, DJI needs RC boats that's a good idea what's the point Robo Jim's drone said Robo crap <laughs> uh, yeah no problem Randy I actually I actually been kind of looking at getting a, a dash cam for the car because it does our old car had a backup cam and the new one doesn't. So I kind of been looking into that. So I, I might look at getting that at some point. Uh, Mud balls in the chat. Uh, Mike says the guy that owns the weed stores in his area be, breeds uh, American <laughs> bull mastiffs. Uh, my friend had a boxer for years. She ate up pups after she had them. Yeah, see, Bo's not aggressive with other animals. He didn't even give a shit about the cats when I first brought him home. Like, the, the cats were hissing at him and shit, and he just looked at him and just kept walking. He didn't even care. <clears throat> oh, my God, well, Dustin. Pressure backs at other people's cats, but she's really used to our cat now, and they just sit there next to each other now. Precious don't wants pay, to be friends. Well, Precious wants to be friends and nuzzles her, and the cat just ignores her. What's up, Donald? Tolerates her. <laughs> He's a good friend. Got, ate the box. Jim's of got pets. one that's trained to go for the juggler. <laughs> <laughs> and that called a vampire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never trust a dog that's called Dracula. <laughs> Jim said, I have a Shih Tzu and a small poodle trained to go for the jugular. <laughs> Donald said, remind me not to toss balls around your Shih Tzu. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what Uncle Bill's got in it, two Shih Tzus. Uh, yeah, I believe so, yeah. His dogs are really nice, though, from what he said. He said if you broke into his house, they'd just lick you to death. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Precious would as well. She barked like that, but yeah. Now, Bo, you would... I don't honestly don't know what Bo would do if somebody came in messing with the girls or the kids because he has gotten aggressive before with other people when it comes to the kids, but he's generally not mm. aggressive. Yeah. But he is a little bit around the kids. <clears throat> well, I mean, Precious won't go for other dogs unless they start growling and barking at her. Start carrying then, on, huh? 
then then she'll bark back. Yeah. But normally she's other than barking for the attention, she's pretty docile. <laughs> what's up, Joel? Yeah, hey, what's up? My dogs would bite your ankles. <laughs> I mean, she she's twelve years old now, so Jim Droning says he loves balls, huh? Well, he's telling Donald that because Donald's they were talking about his vicious <laughs> Shih Tzu. He had. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Donald. And Jim. And I, Joel. I, Joe, I went and flew it again this morning and it went really well. I'm well, glad to hear that. The, oh, uh, Randy's in as well. So it was a lot smoother, right? Yeah. The only the only hiccup was is that somewhere along the line we must have reset it to um, use the internal memory and not the SD card. Uh -huh. So I went back and reset it. Now it's the SD card, not the internal memory. So I had to plug it in, download it, and all that. You know how that goes. Oh, yeah. Well, I know that. <laughs> I went out I with uh, a lot of one day. It was a good one. Yeah, if you take the SD card out, it automatically sets itself to the internal memory. Yeah, and I, I don't flew the Avada one day and forgot to call it. The Avada has built-in memory. No, a little bit, I think. But I, what I did, I took the I took the one out the goggles and stuck it in. Oh. I think that should be standard on all the drones. I don't know why the minis and shit didn't have that. Hey, David. Good well, morning. They were newer. I mean, they were older. Well, like, I understand the Mini 1 maybe not having it, but when the Mini 2 came out, that was when the Air 2 came out, and the Air 2 had it on board storage. I, they it should did, have gave yeah. the Mini 2 at least, like, 4 gigs or something on it. Just because it does save your ass when you forget a memory card and you don't have one with you and you don't want to stop and buy one, you know? I think some of the smaller drones have got 2 gigs in them. The Minis don't have anything. They don't have jack I don't shit. Now. I know that for a the fact because I had two mini twos and I had a mini one, and neither one of them had storage on it. So I've got a mini, did, did got a mini one and yet? a mini three. So no, bro might have some. What? Yeah, the mini three and mini four might, but I know for a fact the one and two did. Yeah, the, yeah no, the one that does have that, internal memory, that. twenty gigs. Yes, yes, mad props. I did. I twenty gigs. Twenty gigs. Hell, that's a lot. It says internal storage, 20 gigabytes. I didn't know that. If I knew that, I wouldn't have worried about switching cards. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dusty just said, I like how you can access the internal memory in the Avada without turning it on. I wish they were all like that. Well, what I like about the uh, Avada is that you can set the recording to when the motor start, it automatic goes on. That's what I like about it. I wish that has was. An, got, I wish that was in all of them. Has the Avada got tr quick transfer on it, where you don't have to physically connect it? You can just download it straight to your phone. That, it, it does. You said. No, he's asking. No, I said, it does. does it? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I know the mini. I always 3, use the cards. The Air Two S, I don't think does, but the Mini Three Pro does. Oh, where you can just transfer it wirelessly. Yeah. You literally just turn the drone on, go into the Fly app on your phone and download it straight to the phone. You don't even need to turn the controller on. That's the way they all should be. I don't even know why they're still having memory card slots on them. I mean, that doesn't seem to be... Uh, well, you want to tell you, the, the biggest pain in the ass with the Avada, though, <clears throat> is when you fly it and bring it back and you take the card out and... To get the to get the the flight data into air data, you gotta hook your goggles up to your phone for it to sync. Oh, it yeah, all, like the Wi Fi, like the other yeah. one does it through the controller. Yeah. So it gives you an extra step, and then it takes a while sometimes to sync. Yeah, but even so, the other ones that that do it through the controller still have to be connected to the internet by Wi-Fi. Wi yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm on a, I'm on a, uh, I, I use a hotspot when I fly all the time. 
Yeah. And that way your maps will upload it's uploaded before yeah. I get home. Yeah. Because unless you download the maps before you go of where you're going when you're at home attached to your network, if you don't have a, a Wi Fi hotspot on, you can't get refreshed maps, can you? That's right. Well, that's why I keep my phone on hotspot. I got on I got a fifty gig hotspot, so I don't worry about it. I don't use it uh, for my, nothing else. My hotspot is unlimited the same as me data allowance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have I get I was getting ten gigs of hotspot a month for a long time and never used it because it was just like I never had any reason to use it. Yeah. Like I just I'm either at home or in the car and I didn't need Wi Fi in the car. Like, I got my yep. phone signal, so, like, I just used data on my phone. I think the only time we ever used it was when uh, the kids were real small. We, there was a couple times we went on, like, little mini-day road trips, and we hooked up the Wi-Fi for them to use their tablets and stuff in the car. That's well, that's it, it. yeah. just to, That's a pretty much all I use mine for, really, to attach my tablet to the Internet. David, is, I mean, is Rob still coming there? I'm not sure. I don't think so. A bit okay. late now, isn't it? Yeah, it's it is. I thought he was supposed to be there this morning. He said no, he said between eleven and two p.m. Yeah, well, it's nearly three p.m. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because he said he was shooting for eleven to two somewhere in there. So you haven't heard from him. David? Well, the last as Laura told me. He had to go home and pick up his computer, and that was just after twelve o'clock, and he hasn't spoke since. So, well, it, it's got to be a two and a half to three hour journey from him to you. Yeah. Well, have you called him though, just to find out? Because if you, as if you left late, he might he could be on the road. He was on. He was doing his job this morning, and then he had to go and pick up the computer because apparently he left it at home. And he said, so once he finished his job, he would let us know, but not heard from him since. I hope nothing happened to him. Nah, he's probably just gone home and, you know. Yeah, I'm it's tired. It's got to be a hard, hard to be sat in that van driving. And... You know, he's got his diabetes and all that to look after. Yeah. Sounds like a bunch of excuses. <laughs> well I'm going to be honest pretty much good excuses they are good excuses yeah if he has a diabetic um, goes into a diabetic coma on the motorway that's the last thing you want yeah that's true oh that looks nice you know when he drives his wheelchair into his van yeah does he have to get out of the chair into the driver's seat oh, or the is there no driver's in. seat no, he drives it straight into the driver's seat, right from the. So ass there's no the dri there's no driver's seat. Yeah, just yeah. drives and comes so in. So basically, basically nobody else can drive his car. Yeah, can you imagine so, somebody trying to nick it, getting in, going, "Where's the somebody, f somebody with a wheelchair <laughs> could drive it." Somebody's That's what I was thinking of that. I he think might, I might actually think there's a seat that fold that folds into place. It yeah, moves out the way. way. Yeah, there might be. I think he said that before. That there is a seat in there that swings it's probably in the back. Pretty, swings out the way. No, and Rob, it's fully oh. automatic. You know, just push a button and whatever. You know. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the van he has, man. Those things are not cheap, even over here. How? I mean, you're talking twenty, thirty grand to retrofit a car. Yeah. There was a guy that had an F two. I'm sure he said it cost him something like sixty k in total to have it all done out. There was one that a, a, a military oh, that had over here, and he just pulled. It was a big F four F two fifty lifted, and he, and the door would go up like a Lamborghini door, and then the the thing the, the little uh, lift would come down, and he'd get into it, and then it would slide right into the couch. driver's seat, and then the door would come back close. <clears throat> there was one that they showed on Facebook ages ago and the door actually slid back when it opened a bit like the is it the Honda there is one of the Hondas I think that does that 
but like the door slid back to open it and then the seat oh, came out on runners to outside the car so that they could get onto the seat and then it slid back in again. Wow. That sounds like a lot of electronics. Hey, Uncle Bill. Yeah. I've seen Good one day. as well where the door actually slides down and underneath the car to open. You guys are talking about transferring files on with, without turning the drone on. You could do that with any DJI drone. Uh, that was what Randy said in the chat. Any, yeah, any, any of them. You just plug a wire into it and it acts like a thumb drive. Mm. Yeah, I see, yeah, yeah Google of that. Uh, right, Bill? The Air 2S has 8 gigs, by the way. But, yeah. But, but Bill, uh, you have to turn the drone on, right? It's no, got you, eight don't gigs, to, you don't have to I turn think, the drone on, though. No. I think it says it's only 7.1 available to actually store on. Oh, wow. Look at that. No, it powers from it powers from the cable, just like a just like a thumb drive would, or a uh, you know stick. That makes it so easy getting in and out of the car. Air Two S does have wireless transfer, by the way. Does it? I just found it. I found it slow as shit, so I never used it. It's pretty fast on the what's it on the Mini Three Pro. I've never tried it on the Air Two S. It never, it never went as fast as it was supposed to. But I only did it one day just to try it out. It's like, you know, how lazy am I? I just walk over and plug it in. Oh, that sounds good, Jim. <laughs> you know, just it was just easy to stick the fucking cord in. <laughs> or pull the Google cord Google have relented. And just set it up and transfer. Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, about the new YouTube layout? The new layout. They've, put, uh, they've, they've kept the chat where, where it was. You could still close the chat down and see other stats, but they've put the information back across the bottom. I knew they were going to do that. That shit was stupid. Whoever the hell came up with that idea. The layout was horrible. I don't know why they ever... I've noticed eBay have gone fucking anywhere again. They set their messaging system up so that it was really nice, and now they've gone back to something that looks more like emails than messages. Oh, they're always changing things. In fact, I think we do a Facebook update soon. Mm. Yeah, where are we going to hide shit this time? <laughs> yeah. yeah. To get into your inbox, you have to click four adverts. <laughs> it makes it even happy more awkward for everybody to search for things. Happy yeah, happy Bill. Joel said, Bill looks tired. Yeah. Ah, it's up late. Woke up late, missed Johnny's show this morning. Just barely was, at the end of it, it was, the end of it, signing off. It was getting a little bit heated on art last night, wasn't it? <laughs> on Art's channel? Yeah. yeah my wife cracked my wife cracked I'll just say something. My wife cracked me up yesterday. I was talking to her and it had something to do with it. somehow religion came up about God. She goes, Well, God's dead. What? Yeah, he'll be alive tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I got heated on like our she, channel. She stunned happened? me for a second. It's like you know that's the son of God. Oh. You, 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 you kind of when you said because you know she's very she's superstitious, religious, whatever. When she said, "There's a what?" And she, it'd be like tomorrow. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> Easter. I hey, Mark. Like, just Justin was asking what what do you mean by got oh, the art channel? They were just arguing about politics, weren't they, Bill? Um, the dreaded politics subject. Mm. You know what? If you can't debate politics without getting angry, right? Don't debate it. Just leave, let it go. Only when we talk. Everyone to has you. a different opinion. <laughs> Only when we talk to you, David. <laughs> no, because you see, I can talk politics and I can let it go. Yeah, I know a few people that won't. They're like a dog with a bone. Like Donald. I guess. Donald pretty like much Donald. relaxed. Morning, Donald. Yeah, Donald's pretty non-political. Yeah. Happy Easter. 
Now, I was sitting out on his veranda. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Is it warm enough to be out there, Donald? Oh, mu very, very much so. Wow. It's only uh, 31 degrees here. I feel yeah, for you, nice, Bob. Huh? I'll yeah, be outside today. What? I bought 10 pounds of, or 10 bags of uh, topsoil all around the driveway today. So I, I, I <laughs> now, do you, you, you did turn around and then you put grass seed in there or what? Well, yeah, I was, was going to get, I was just going to do it the easy way and just go buy myself some side, but that won't be out for a little while. You got to wait, you know, farmers haven't delivered it yet. Grass seed so, is fucking well, expensive. In the meantime, uh, if I'm going to put the dirt down, I don't want washing it to, 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 down the end of the driveway by the culprit, it, you know, it drops off. I don't want it washing away. And so yeah. I was taking it to go to uh, Tractor Supply. They've got this, uh, well, it comes in a roll or it comes in a bag, but it's like a fake. Um, hey, you know, that you put over mm -hmm. it's kind of sticky it, for, for the forms of protective layer, it keeps the moisture in and it helps keep the erosion anti erosion. You know? that, and it's got the mesh in the mesh, yeah. it goes away. Yeah, we use yeah, that. Right. It, 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 it's biodegradable, it's biodegradable. Yeah, it ends up in your grass. And I was thinking about doing that. Then, and if that takes seed, then I won't bother with the with the sod, you know. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. used a roll of that stuff and it was a pain in the butt. You've used that. Yeah. <laughs> Like to I mean, you got to take it down, and and the wind still catches it. And it yeah. uh, they've got two different kinds. They cut, yeah, they got, they got that roll kind. Well, this is, I don't have that big an area to actually do. You know, it's just around the edge of the driveway. You know, it's not like I'm I'm fixing a a good section of my yard. Oh, we were doing a long, long section. So, yeah. I, I mean, not. I mean, like I said, I was talking about trimming my 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 uh, my yard. Where the where the grass? I don't know if sidewalks. But where the grass meets the dry the uh, road, it grows over the top of the road a good foot, foot foot and a half. Mm -hmm. where, the, where the grass just creeps out onto onto the onto the blacktop with it. Yeah. My neighbor <coughs> cut his not that long ago. Looks nice. You know, he cut it nice and straight to the edge of the. So if I do that, I'm going to end up with sod left over. You know, if I if I edge it. Shovel that up nice. Transfer those pieces. Right. Yeah. Transfer, yeah. Transfer it over. Yeah. That might work. It, it, may, it may die, but uh, we'll give it a try. Just keep it uh, watered. What, it's hard what in Florida. Down? It's hard, I tell you, it's hard in Florida. The sun is so strong. You you really gotta be uh, on it to get it to get the seed to take it so it doesn't it doesn't get killed in the sunlight. But uh, now's the time of year mm. to do it. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. Beautiful out here. Yeah, so I might have some. I might have some sod. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks. I've been I've been wanting to do that, and I've been putting it off because it's so that, 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 you that, that I have an edger. You could so. add that to your resume, Bill, as sod farmer. <laughs> sod and farmer. Poor old sod. You can go to one of the two places and rent something that will cut the sod. You know, it, it's got a blade that goes yeah, down. Like cuts a, about an inch thickness out for you. And then it rolls it up too, right? As it goes forward? I don't think it rolls it up. I think you've got to roll it up after you've cut it. But Yeah. Yeah, I have this, this big old electric head, edger I bought and I used one time. It's been sitting in my shed for years, so get some use out of it. I'll just edge it. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think it's about five quid a square meter, five pounds a square meter to buy turf here. I've got a combo weed eater and the weed, weed whacker and edger. It sh it twists halfway down the shaft so you can mm -hmm. use it vertical. Someone clip that. Yeah. It yeah. runs through. <laughs> Trim line like crazy. I, I put an attachment on my gas mm -hmm. weed eater, but I this this thing was just made for that. It's got a it's got a big old heavy wheel on it and pretty heavy blade. That's what, that's what I was saying. The, the way mine does, it works, but it runs through weed eater line like crazy. Yeah, well, this actually has a metal a metal cutting blade. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I've got a metal blade on mine. The, the actual tool. Donald, you have my bird's it's attention. Hard, He's saying I'm going to... up and killing you. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I've got a petrol one. Cardinal up here on the uh, 
power lines making crazy noise. Yeah, all and my birds are looking around the computer going, where are they coming from? <laughs> <laughs> he noticed I was talking about him, so he blew away. So, You know what I should do? I should do the neighbor. My, the neighbor night next door, she had sod put down years ago. She's got beautiful grass. I should trim her. <laughs> trim her <laughs> bush. Should, <laughs> trim her do the neighbor. Yeah, do your favor. <laughs> you want me to edge your grass here and get rid of the trimming? It's lush. You know what? When I, I, I overlap out to her yard a little bit, my mower slows down. It's that thick, you know? I should steal yeah. some of that. <laughs> it comes out I mean, after I mean, lawns. Not gone. steal. Not steal. Trim it for her. Be like, <laughs> uh, what was that, uh, Dick and Jane, when he stole the sod from the neighbor? <laughs> He's going around <laughs> stealing all the pieces of the sod. <laughs> I gave up years ago of trying to make my yard look as good as the neighbor's. I would imagine your yard probably looks nice, though, Donald, because you're all into, like, planting and doing stuff like that. No, my yard looks like crap. Yeah, mine too. Yeah, mine all the damn things. Clover and... The front red. yard of our house looks fine. The backyard is just nothing but sand and dirt. Like, there's no grass in the backyard at all. On the front, it's all nice and thick and everything. I've got a huge pile of branches to get rid of that are blown down in the winds. Well, a lawn is an unnatural thing. Mm. It, it used to be that uh, clover was a healthy part of a yard until yeah. the uh, uh, places that sold a weed killer figured out mm. that it was killing clover too and leaving patches, so they labeled clover a weed. Yeah. <laughs> And convince people that clover was a bad thing to have. But clover is good. It puts nitrogen back in the soil. It's a fixer. If you don't mind your yard looking variegated. Instead mm, of just all yeah. form. Oh, you know what zoysia grass is, right? Mm -hmm. You ever been tempted? Uh, no. Why? You said you said that like it's disgusting. I mean, it grows a nice thick lawn. It grows a nice little, thick lawn, but little, little or no effort. It doesn't take much. It'll take your whole yard over. I want to put that stuff down. Well, because it's because it's brown like four months a year. <laughs> Artificial yeah. grass. <laughs> I mean, that's the only negative. You got to cut your grass like twice a year with that stuff. It grows really slow, slow and thick. You put. You plug it. You put plugs in about six inches apart, and just mm -hmm. fill it in. And yep, that's what I've heard. I've seen some yards in California since they're all that water conservation, and they're using that fake grass, and they got some really nice looking fake grass nowadays. That look... <clears throat> Zoysia was yeah. developed for golf courses. Mark showing off his grass. Nice. Oh, it's just a one strip of yes, fake yes, grass yes. that comes down. I've got a couple of rolls of it there to put down, but is that your yard that, that that like nine square feet of area you got? No, that's my yard <laughs> <laughs> with all them in it. <laughs> Very green and a double garage over there. There's only so many grasses you can grow down here because of the sun. Woodpecker's back. St. Augustine and Bermuda grass. Yeah. There was one in our tree the other day making a bunch of noise. Well, he's been hacking away at this power pole. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Jumbo! I can hear a magpie somewhere around. Well, no, when Donald loses power, what happened? <laughs> um, let me see if he's up there on the power pole again. It sounds like it. I hear him. I can hear him. I just heard it. Mm. Hey, Alex, you have a great day. All right, Alex, we'll see you later. 
Guzat. But no. Oh. And Dusty's there as well, and Joe. Esther Grass in the front. Not very good. Like I said, I did, when I was out visiting a few years back, I went out to California, uh, went to my friend's house, and he had that fake grass put down, and he walked across it with your bare feet. You'd think it was real grass. That shit was super nice. Stupid nice. Hey, yeah, uh, it was really nice. You see what happens here. My wife sprays that weed killer in here, so it makes it out to here. <laughs> well, yeah. 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 You got this stupid culvert here, which makes it fun to cut the grass. You see mm -hmm. here, this needs grass, obviously, by the new part of the driveway. Oh, here. did you get a new driveway? I didn't know that. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> the concrete? <laughs> That'll be what's it on it? The lime in the concrete that's killed the grass next to it. And you got uh, this has to be done here. And this is fine. This is pretty level. That there where it drops off. You know, yeah, you want to level it out so you don't feel it when well, you drive the car. Well, you can't really because it goes down to the culvert, but I'm gonna have to build it up some. Right, there you go. Well, again, not a lot, a lot. And it, and this has to be built up. I mean, this they, they did it with the <laughs> it but here is the culvert open, it's not covered. See. No, it goes under the driveway. Yeah, I know it goes under the driveway, but I mean, at the, the end of the grass, is it just open? Yeah. Yeah, but there's like a ditch that's mm -hmm. cut out. Yeah. Goes along the edge it's, of the road. It's called a culvert right there. You know, it's mm. funny. He uh he edged it. It's already growing back into the street. It, it was a, <laughs> see look, it's almost it's even with mine again already. Yeah. And this was maybe two months ago he did this. <laughs> I don't know if it's even worth it. But you can see where the driveway meets the uh, road. <laughs> and you can see the grass goes beyond it about a foot. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. Huh. You don't have a footway between the road and the gardens. It's like like the road is here. Yeah. And the grass goes out to about maybe about, eh, I don't know if that's worth it. Maybe I'll just seed it. Uh, we don't we always have a footway and a okay. what's it the curb between the road you know and the do? gardens. I just uh, some places more, con more concrete yeah. and go all the way to the fence and more concrete and go all the way to the neighbor's yard. Book done. No more just one big ass concrete slab. That's it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll have it. I'll have it stained green. Come <laughs> on. Yeah. Bill. <laughs> It's up, nothing yeah. like it, but I, I, I have thought many times it's like been jealous of those people that buy like buildings in town that don't have yards, they just buy a building and live in a building. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. like I'd like this area. We'll All concrete, concrete around them. So that I need to obviously need a new cover for my boat. <laughs> How terrible that's gotten over the years. Maybe I'll buy one today. But that going to go in the backyard. This guy's the bike I'm selling. That's going to go back there. Because Ken, play, you know, Kenny uh, plays it here, Ken. Yeah. Uh, he's going to be pulling his trailer up here. Uh, mm. for the South Florida drone meetup. He's going to park. He's oh, got right. Yeah. He's carried on. Yeah. Gonna park. He's got a 24 foot trailer. So he just back it right up into here. It'd be fine. So I'm going to get these out of the way. I hear a morning dove. Is he going to wear an Uncle Eddie hat? A cousin Eddie hat? In the backyard. I don't know. Park his trail up, get his folding camping table, folding chairs, and a barbecue. That totally be a thing if Donald was uh, pulling his trailer up in the bills. I could see him coming out looking like Cousin Eddie. <laughs> yeah, be Cousin Eddie with the robe and with the hat. He's got that picture of himself there. He did the Pull up in the doom, like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> this thing here. This is some Filipino superfood tree or something. Here's my crappy guy. Malungai or Balungai or something. When she planted this, it was a stem. You know what I mean? It was a tiny little 
Oh yeah, you your see, backyard is pretty patchy. Yeah, you could, yeah, huh? It's patchy. I was talking about my, Donald's my backyard. backyard. Oh, oh well, my God! Donald, it's you just thought about like that. Donald, call one of those companies. They come out and spray your yard and get it all up to snuff. No. <laughs> Likes his patchiness. Leave him alone. <laughs> now some things think... grow like crazy in Florida, like that thing. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the thing you? No, that's not the thing you cut down a couple of years ago, is it? Uh, no, no. But th everything I cut down here comes back. I don't know. You can't get rid of it. There's another one of those Valungi trees. Here, like I said, they were just little, 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 little snips. She, they grow these seed pods. Apparently, you can you can eat everything on this tree, bark and all. Show us. We call, call it a superfood. Yeah, I want to see him eat a piece of bark. Yeah. <laughs> Take a bite out of that tree, Bill. Oh, God, she did cut down the, the, the Bougainville out front. Thank God. I think trying to pull me off the motorcycle. I was on my back now. That makes you yeah, wonder who these, looked at these, that tree. These fern-looking palm trees, man, they grow like crazy. And we yeah. have city sewer, but it's assisted by a septic. So, it's, it's, we, got, so we got a tank. Uh, but then that uh, leads you into the into the sewer system. So look where this guy's sitting. <laughs> so oh, he'd be enjoying life that one. Cool. Wonder who ever decided to look at that tree the first time. I was like that bark looks delicious. I want to try that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, man, the grass isn't doing too bad. But is it nice? No, not even a little. I, mean, I got to get on the other side of that fence because these people rent and they never they never keep track they never clean anything. Yeah, do that. I need to do maintenance on our fence. What I got some more board. What are you <laughs> reshoving with the weed whacker? It's mine. I pulled this. I pulled this fence. The, the pole, the middle of the pole, is a property line. So really, this is mine anyway. I had the fence set back a little bit, but come on, my other neighbor, I set that one back too. He cuts it. Where you just reach over with the weed whacker and trim it up. There's a big dog. Oh yeah, that's where he was cutting the grass. How are you? Off. Remember that. Okay. Oh, there's all the pupper dogs. Yeah. Huh? Oh, I was. I got. I'm, we're live streaming here. I was just showing guys some of the yard. I, I the front. I got. I, today is the project. I'm gonna fill around the driveway. Maybe put some seed down. We'll see. Well, tell them what your master plan is. It's just to cement everything. Yeah, I was thinking about it. Yeah, we'll just get rid of all the grass and put all cement down. <laughs> green you know, cement. Just, you, you, get the, you get the green sealer. <laughs> There's another project. I, I Well, I was sick for a week, so I lost 10 pounds. That's that's how, that's what I do. Every year I lose 10 pounds by getting sick for about a week or so. Yeah. Ah, it's worth it. I get a little time off from work too. <laughs> All right, good day. Oh, I just played the bracket was bent back. Here's another project I got to finish. I got to do, or not finish, but start. <laughs> Rotted. I got the three quarter inch ply in the shed over there. Always something. Anybody want a ten horsepower motor? It's like a 1970 <laughs> Johnson Seahorse 9.5. There you go. That's a collector's mm. item. Yeah. Well, it's not running right now, but it, it was when it's when it wasn't used. You know, when, when it came off the boat, it was running. I tried to start it a few years ago. And I don't know if it's mm. getting spark or whatever. I just really, I got things I need to do, let alone stuff I feel like doing. There we go. I got 10 bags. I think I got too much. I don't think I need all that. Yeah, you'd rather have too much than too little. Yeah. It's, I don't know. It might take all of it just to fill this area here. Like, like I said, taper it better, you know? But you mm -hmm. see, look, you see how much nicer my neighbor's grass is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is nice and thick. Yeah. Well, I could, you could just feel the difference on your feet. Well, when you go to bed, pick it up, move it across. 
<laughs> just trim it back, like I said. Just trim it to the, to the, it to the driveway. Yeah. All the way to the end. Yeah. Not a big house, but it's my house. <laughs> Joe. So, mm, sappy. Look at that taco meat glistening on the sun. <laughs> I was thinking about sealing this with, with a tinted sealer. But I don't know. Then you got to redo it every one to five years. And I don't know, we'll see. It, you're better off putting the dye in it when it's actually being laid. This is this is the bane of my existence, right here. Oh, one because time. it sets this off constantly. Yeah, yeah, now you take that down and watch your missus go nuts. No, but why do you think it has a move? Back at this. <laughs> this, thing, this thing sprouts little rosebuds. But look at it. A little bit of wind, and it's waving hello to my ring doorbell. <laughs> hello. Well, maybe yeah. you should reposition your ring doorbell. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I thought it was a pretty good idea to have it next to the door. You know. You know, it's re angle it. It. Oh. Okay. See, what I got to do is I got a plan on what I'm going to do, and I, I I'll plan all day long, and I'll have my my plan in place, and I'm ready to go. And then go down. Well, I'm hope I'm hoping it starts to rain. <laughs> <laughs> and then it'll be like, oh, first. If it doesn't, like I app. plan some more. And oh, it's getting dark out. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, I'm 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 a I'm a, a procrastination king. He's like, let's take our pre-afternoon nap and then we'll get started. <laughs> That's just like my dad. If he wants to come round and do some work at my house, on his stuff, he just can't be asked doing it at his house. It's only half a mile away. He comes round yeah. half an hour before it goes dark. Yeah, that ends, ends up what happened. I do my best, best work in the dark. You know what I mean? Mm. You know what I mean? Catch the draws. I uh, I mean, for example, I decided I wanted to buy that mesh. You can't get it at the Home Depot. It, it, and it's actually, like I said, it, it looks like hay, you know, but it's sticky and it sticks together. They, they mm -hmm. got they got some that you form, comes in a bag. They got the roll mm -hmm. type that you were talking about, Donald, but they actually have, it's like kind of sticky and it's in a bag. And you, you basically pull it apart and then stick it together and then it sticks down. Anyway. You know, I have to go to get that. I have to go to tractor supply because nobody nobody has this stuff around. Here. Home Depot doesn't have it. Lowe's doesn't have it. Well, tractor supply is a good 35, 40 minutes from here. So, you know, <laughs> that, <laughs> that'll that'll cut into the, you know, yeah, the actual yeah. work that. You can, you can kill an hour and a half, time. two hours there. You know, and once you get and there, I'll walk around and, the store. You know, and yeah. if you're at the tractor supply, you have to go look at the chickens. Got to look at everything. You're never tractor gonna... supply is a great place to go. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You go by, you go by, see the baby chickens, and and talk about, you know, I could put, I could put myself some chickens out back, and yeah. it, uh, yeah. I, I already got a tank that they use for those things sitting back there. We bought a tractor supply. My wife decided she was going to have like a soaking tub out in the yard. I so have my greenhouse tractor to buy to buy to see another thing that sits there and collects rainwater. <laughs> I have a greenhouse that's starting to fall apart. The panels are starting to get busted on it. And I'm sitting here thinking, I could go ahead and put cover that in actual wood, use that frame, cover it in wood, and make myself a little chicken house there. And uh, roast <laughs> chickens. They they have a tub that they you know they have the when they're chicks while they're still chicks and they they sit in there not not chicken. Up, hold chicken. up. See that crow just landed up here on the line? And he's gone. He's a big old chunky boy. I want to make friends with him. There's like <clears throat> uh, probably seven of them that live in the neighborhood. And I, I keep on trying to, when I see him out, throw some Cheerios and stuff out. I want to make friends with him. If you actually do catch one, get one of them to come up to you, yeah, they'll end up. They start so trusting you. Tonight. When we were in the backyard, I kind of skimmed over something I got to yeah. fix. 
That was a big vinyl shed. Yeah, he said it was a crow. Yeah. Yeah, they make they good 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 gumbo. I have a couple of sheds out here. And uh, Corvids are very birds. Aren't crows the one bird that if they like you, they'll start bringing you shit? Crows, ravens, any of the corvids are like that. That shed is fine, right? Very loyal. This shed is my original shed, my sun cast vinyl shed, which was fine until I, I burnt some gasoline when I burnt my leg when I was running and I heated up the bottom. Look at this door. <laughs> And uh, they, they were curving already a little bit just from sunlight because this is old. I mean, I, I put this in after we bought the house like 13 years ago. So, but uh, really, there's no reason to get rid of it. It's still standing. It's uh, well, if you, can't you take that door off, lay it flat on something, and very <laughs> carefully heat it back up and straighten it? I tried that. No. Oh. Or you no. take it off, take the doors off. And didn't work. Didn't work. I, I have a heat gun. I got all kinds of stuff. I couldn't get it. No. no. I mean, it's really bad. And you can't get these anymore because they don't make this model anymore. See, this is where I, it's really embarrassing in here. But anyway, all kinds of shit. This <laughs> powered stuff. Looks like, like my shit. Like chainsaw and. Uh, Captain uh, Joel 3D print you a new door. <laughs> I got, I got <laughs> my generator out here. See, and this is in a good spot because it's closer to the house. And this uh, this cat generator, I have this hooked up to that fan right there. So when the generator runs, that fan kicks on and it expels the exhaust out of the back of the shed. So mm. that's my setup. This is for the boat, the fuel for the boat. But anyway, long story short, uh, this just sits on a platform. And it's uh, you can tell it's soft when you walk on it. But I don't care. It's not going anywhere. So the platform used to rest on. This is what happens in Florida. And you see how clear, it looks like the shed's on the ground, doesn't it? That's because that the two by four platform that I built sank in, you know, like, like <laughs> sank into the ground. And that's why it's like a little crooked to this one because it's a little heavier. So anyway, long story short, I'm thinking just make some wooden doors, I guess. You know, I could mm -hmm. just replace the thing. But that's a big pain in the yeah, ass. Yeah, you got a good, make... good, good pattern. You just replace the doors. Yeah, I Billy, you keep saying "long door. story short." I do not think that word means what you think it means. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, got the fake shingle roof. I put that window in there with the see this thing when the when the fan comes on, blows it out like that. Fancy. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Here's a dead tree. Couldn't you, just ex couldn't you just uh, extended the exhaust so it went out through the back? I want to do that. You wanted a fancy fan that opens up. Well, that had just yeah. been too easy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, because it would get hot. <clears throat> I saw some other guy did something like that, and I liked it, so I did it. Uh, fair enough. I mean, he didn't have it in his shed this size. He had he had one of those small, this one of those ones that you put at the end of your house. It's maybe twice the size of the generator, and because of that and the heat that builds up in there, he actually insulated the inside of it with uh, uh, that board with the foil foil on the one side. You know, yeah, uh, foam board with the foil on the inside. He did that, and then he put a little electric fan to exhaust it. Uh, yeah, plus. There is the other side of it too. It's less noisy this way. A lot of the noise from the generator is absorbed inside the inside the building. If the yeah, exhaust well, went directly to the outside, exhaust. you would definitely hear it a lot, a lot yeah. more. Yeah. You know. Oh, dude, I hate after hurricanes. That's all you hear is fucking generators running everywhere. <laughs> it's loud as hell too. Well, I, I've run it inside the shed to see how it was, and it was just a, a low humming in the background, and you know, it's not even that far away. So. Uh, yeah, so I, well, look at all that. And I have, Morning, Dev, I, heard. I have a 30 amp uh, cable. That run, I run from that. And I, I put this in. I did this myself. Shh, don't tell the contractors in that. It's permitting <laughs> behind the trash cans over here. I was going to show you, but you can't see it. It's behind the trash cans. Right, oh, here you go. I put this on the house. 
Ooh. Brought it in through there. Hooked up into my uh, my panel. And uh, and I did the right thing. You can't you can't turn that switch on to that to that 30 amp breaker without turning off the main to the house. Yeah. That way if the power comes back on while the generator's running, you don't you know, yeah, unless you keep somebody. Yeah. <laughs> Or if they're working yeah. on the lines, you're not feeding power back through the lines. Don't they call right. it like a dead man switch or some shit like that? Well, it's no. Some people will just plug their generator directly into an outlet and right. that feeds back through uh, the right. main power line. So when the workers are out working, they got to test those lines because people do that shit and then they got live current right. going through those lines. They're supposed to be well, dead. they can do that as long as they're smart enough to turn the main off and it doesn't feed back into the. Into yeah. The yeah. Yeah, mm. people don't do that. I mean, there's the main up there, and it's got this thing, and it's made for this. There's the 30 amp breaker. You can't turn this on because because the main is up, and this L mm. L shaped bracket keeps you from being able to turn it on. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? So yep. if that was down, then this slides out of the way, and then you can turn the breaker on, and then you don't you don't know, feed back into the uh, grid. Yeah, that's you know, good. Actually, I, you know, one thing I was thinking about: if Kenny's parked over here, if he's got a if he's got a thirty amp on his trailer, that would have been pretty convenient. Yeah, Except, uh, have an I'd, have, I'd, have take, I'd have to take that thing off, you know, so I could turn it on, and he can he it, it would work in the other direction. He can get the power from it, you know. Other than that, we're just gonna have to run an extension cord. I have a I have a ground faulted. Uh, um, he'll have an electric hookup cable in his caravan. I have a ground. This is ground fault in here. So you could just plug into that. Question is, where is Why he? Why do you keep following me in and out of the house? Come on. <laughs> That's it. You know, I like doing all this stuff myself and knowing how to do it. And if I don't know how to do it, learn how to do it and, you know, mm -hmm. get it done. That's yeah, the joy of being a homeowner. Yeah, a homeowner. But, mm -hmm. uh, you can't say homeowner without saying the word homo. Homo. <laughs> <laughs> not to mention the cost of labor nowadays. <laughs> could be worse, yeah, could be Here's my air handler. My AC system. This is not code. I don't know if you can see that there. That's because this was installed in 1998. Still works. It, every time, any, anytime, anytime anybody looks at it, they're like, wow, you're getting a lot of use out of that thing. Um, you know, you'd, you'd save yourself about $20, $30 a month in, elect in electricity if you got a new system. Really? So I should spend five grand so I can save $20, $30? That's it. <laughs> Sounds like yeah. a good idea. It stays until it dies. But anyway, this is just the air handle unit. And they don't do this anymore. That's 30. That's a 30. That might even be a 50. Well, it's at least a 30 amp plug, just like you have for an electric stove. That goes into that. Uh, now they have either a breaker or a switch that you're supposed to have. But because it's already here, I get away with it. These are the mm -hmm. wires that go to my Honeywell here. I would like to put a smart uh, one of these on here. If I could tell Amazon to turn the, you know, turn the AC up and down, because that's important. Or, or Alexa. Mm. Alexa, I'm warm. <laughs> but <Joel. laughs> yeah, you know, because I need this, I need this, I need the C wire connected. This is only a four wire. Uh, it's for four, it's a four wire, and I need a five. And the C so wire is not hooked up in this thing. So, oh, well, Paul. I, He's showing all this like it's really old. Why don't you go and show him yours? <laughs> Take this Actually, off. Actually, Paul's got his already done, Ray. So. AC units are only rated for like 15 years. 20, 20, 20, 26 years is pretty good. I had, anyway, I had a whole new since, system put since, in a year ago. It's on right now, especially since it actually blows cold air still. But anyway. Um, Watch him here bragging about his AC, and then later today it's going to Yeah, in England, off. how often is it on? <laughs> 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 She runs seven days a week. <laughs> there there isn't a day in Florida that doesn't come on at least for a little while. Um, but uh, if you take this panel off so you can get to the board, there is it's new enough. It's got it's got 
the connection for the C wire, and there's a wire connected to it. It's not doing anything. So that's the problem. I followed that wire through here. I made this hole bigger so I could see. Because, you know, who cares? Inside the closet. Uh, but I don't know where it goes to. They they didn't use it, and it's tied off somewhere there inside the wall. So I can't get to it. But think about getting a good old wire the wall. And <laughs> drilling straight through from here to there. You know, take, the, take this off. Yeah. And run the C wire so I can have an, a sixty-two dollar Amazon smart from Sam. Bill, <laughs> yeah, I've got an. Old... You're making me tired of talking about all your plans. I've got an old portable. Right, this, this, is, this is what you do. You plan three times a year. Have you drawn it all out? Yeah. I would get a bug up my behind and I complete yeah. something. Yeah. Have you drawn it all out yet, though? Huh? Have you drawn it all out? I mean, oh, if any of you guys are up to black, even, even more. That's oh, a good idea. Bill, Bill, don't forget you need to go on YouTube and watch a few videos on whatever project you're going to be doing. Uh, yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got to do that. I mean, if, hey, any you guys, if any of you guys are up yeah, this to black, it's actually melody. pretty simple. I, I've got the wire. I just need to run. I just need to find a way to run it to the to that controller. No, but, but if any uh, of y'all are looking to blackmail Bill for a new drone, just clip all those things that weren't up to code. Yeah, this isn't up to code. This is up to code. Yeah, he's <laughs> walking around the house. That's up to code. This ain't up to code. Bill, I, I have this video ready to go out to uh, your local building inspector. Expects a new a new Mavic three on his doorstep by Monday. Well, I'm about to have to have my house. I, I do have to have my house inspected actually because my insurance this is going company. to your insurance. Yeah. Second second time in two years, insurance decided to stop covering people in this area. I, don't think I can just imagine it. That. If he does that, and what's it? We have to, in, in Florida, you have to have to get insurance. They want to show you unless you get a wind mitigation report. In other words, you have a guy that comes out, inspects the entire home. Last time it cost me about 400 bucks. And they go up in the attic and they see how your, your rafters are tied, whether you have the rafter tied down. They have these metal tie downs to make sure that the roof doesn't blow off in a hurricane. He's told he can't win you. Also he have to, it, he has to do it. Plus plus the eaves have to be uh supported, brace supported. They 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 rate the house. There's a rating, you know, based on your the glass in your windows and the way it's constructed and blah 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 blah. And of course they inspect everything else too. You like your electrical system, your plumbing. Anyway, mine is now I think six years old. So it's gonna be too old to use. So getting insurance means another four or five hundred bucks to have my have some guy probe my house and uh and then get ridiculously, you know, three thousand dollars of insurance on this little this little home for a guy that's it was actually gonna be over three thousand dollars actually. That's that may not sound like a lot to some of you guys with your with with, with bigger homes. This is twelve hundred square feet. Now, this is not a big house. And I'm somebody who's never ever made a claim in my entire life. If something goes bad, I fix it. I put that roof on. We paid for that four years ago. You know, they're gonna bust my ass because my water heater is is uh, is too old. It's like I, I gotta replace it. It works. Oh yeah, but it's it's beyond it's it's beyond. That blah, blah, blah. Is expensive oh. for insurance, isn't it? I mean, mine my house insurance I think works out eighty pound a month. Jesus Christ. For for well, to replace stuff that already works. Fortunately, mm -hmm. the AC doesn't matter to them, mm -hmm. but the water heater does because if a tank, if you get if you get uh, rot through on the oh, tank, no, sorry. It, could flood, it could end up flooding the house. I'm wrong. But, it's only uh, forty pound a month the house. Well, don't worry. I'm gonna have to ring the insurance company back and say, yeah, you know that complaint about the expensive bill you sent me. Yeah, I, ret I retract it. Eight pound a month isn't that much. <laughs> oh no, that's not a lot. Mind you, yours is just content, <laughs> isn't it? Well, yeah. he's, uh, his is like, what, rental insurance, right? Yeah, just contents. Yeah. My, it's £40 yeah. Pound a month, mine, for building and contents. A lot of places over here, yeah, if you're renting an apartment or a house, they'll require you get rental insurance. It's usually not that expensive for that. Yeah, but well, it's I mean, not rental insurance, insurance. It's, it's just contents insurance. Now, I think the flat upstairs... If they was to get insurance, they have to get rental insurance because they're more likely to cause damage to the flat down below. 
it's usually, usually the landlord that has to take the building well. insurance out. Content insurance. Uh, yeah, building insurance. That's the council. You 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 buy you put on a roof and you pay extra because you want thirty year shingles. They don't care that you put on thirty year shingles. The insurance company wants set wants a new roof every fifteen years. I don't well, so that. that. It may as well put the cheap ass twenty year twenty year flat ones up there, you know, instead of the architectural thirty year ones that I have up there. I tell you what, I should have my wife. I could have gotten a metal roof for the same price, and that they will give you credit for. They'll give you thirty years, even though they're guaranteed for fifty. And uh, then I would never have to worry about it again because, you know, look, I'll, you know, I'll be dead. But uh, my wife didn't want it because she had visions of the Philippines with the concrete block homes on the on the, on the the shoreline with the those cheap-ass metal roofs blowing off. So, no, they blew yeah. away in the hurricane. No, honey. No. If this house, if the roof blew off, the walls, the walls were already gone. <laughs> yeah, but uh, those type of houses you're talking about, they're putting that thin ass sheet metal and they're just screwing it down. It's not not even close to the same metal roof you'd put it's on not, your house. No, it's not the same thing. Oh, it's they not just even put, close. They like thinking about the corrugated roofs. Yeah, the corrugated. Yeah, the corrugated. Yeah. That's all they're doing is putting that shit up there and nailing <sighs> it and screwing it down. <laughs> well, that's all they do with these. The same thing. They use screws with 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 with. Uh, they screws with um, rubber uh, washers on yeah. them. I mean, it's basically the same thing. Yeah, but, but the corrugated it's shit will away, and it's on an angle. It's not flat, and we're not, we're not sitting next to the shoreline. You know, I, you know. No, I, but like I've I said, seen if it's in, that bad that the roof's going to rip off, the house is gone anyway. So what's the I've seen in Southern California people uses corrugated s steel for different things, and the, when the wind come through, it just fucking just ripped it. Yeah, I mean, just lift it off. No, it'll literally just rip it right around to where you screwed it in. It'll just rip it. Yeah, they built some flats in uh, Wickford where we used to live, and they put a tin roof on it. And then the residents were complaining that the the rain hitting the roof was just echoing down the walls. Yeah, uh, <laughs> metal roofs are they're definitely louder in the rain and and like that. Forget it if it hails. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I mean, these do look nicer. This roof does look nicer. There, there's no doubt. I mean, you can pay stupid. I'm not talking about the stupid money roof. They got metal roofs that look like shingles. You know, you know, they're yeah. they're, they're very attractive. You know, but uh, I wasn't talking that. But I for the same price, I could have had the the flat type with this. You know, with the with the raised like my neighbor has across the way there. It looks fine. I, I, I don't. I don't. Oh well, what's done is done. But like you said, if the roof goes, your fucking house is gone anyway. So, yeah. and, <laughs> and, well, no, and the problem with the insurance companies in Florida, a lot of it has to do with roofs because everybody's a fucking crook. You know, yep. the, a storm will pass through. They're getting towards the end of their 15 years. They'll go up on the roof of the ladder and start ripping shingles out arbitrarily all over the place and call the insurance company and, <laughs> and have a new roof put in. Yeah, yeah, that was the whole cause of the insurance shit problem in Florida, wasn't yeah. it? We get that here too. We had that storm come through the other day, and the neighborhood was covered in uh, roofing companies. Free estimates, free estimates. Like, <laughs> yeah, they're gonna go up there, they're gonna find damage, and we always just like they'd say, "Hey, we can get you uh, this here. Your insurance will pay for it. You get a brand new roof. Your insurance will pay because the it's like you don't know anything about my insurance." You don't know that I get cash back without a claim. So you put yeah. that roof on there. I lose my cash back. That's cost me even more money. <laughs> but the rates are going to go up. I'll pay for that roof one way or another. I don't want it. I, I feel like it's my fault that they can't decided that they didn't want to insure me anymore. My insurance went up 600 bucks in one year. And I was like, I called the agent. All right, what can I do to get it back to where it was? You know what I mean? And we, we raised the deductible. We did this. We did. We played with it. We got it back down to where it was. In the very next contract, they canceled. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. And they just, they just, it, when I got it, it was big news stories of how American or uh, Florida Peninsula is insuring homes. And, da -da -da, you know, they made a big deal out of it. It was fanfare and articles about how they're helping the, uh, the Florida uh, homeowners. Because of how expensive our insurance has gotten down here, two seasons, boom, they're going. And and I live in South Florida, but this town doesn't get hit. 
It seems like it always it just passes right by. We get some tropical storms. We get the edge of the hurricane. The, the, this area hasn't hit the, been hit directly with a with a with a strong hurricane for about seventy years. See, our hey, county here's... is known for getting hit really bad. <clears throat> Passes by the Treasure Coast for some. Oh, I am sore. Are you? All that bending over I you've have... been doing on your doom buggy. I, it, it is. I was, I got a carpet. I'm glad, you finished, that, I'm glad you finished that sentence, Paul. It's from all the bending over you've been doing. Uh. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm not sore buggy. there. I'm sore my shoulders, not not my ass. No, no. Yes. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, you've been talking about the roof. <laughs> New York Yankee fan in England. How about that? Well, I just named your cap. Hmm? Yeah, it's just a hot. <laughs> he hasn't read it yet. <laughs> no, I found He's it. it. It's cold out here. Hey, a found hat works. You know, you always see those hats that are on the side of the road, blown out of somebody's truck or off their head. You always see those hats. I think it'd be cool to just pull over and pick up those hats and save them. And then just sew a little uh, badge on that says Roadhead and resell them. <laughs> road, yeah. road, Roadhead uh, found and have the location that it was found in the day. <laughs> a little certificate of authenticity. Wow. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Road cap, road head. I don't know. Road mm -hmm. head? That sounds like something else. Yeah. <laughs> it is, Bill. <laughs> but that's why I think... It, you get, you get something you get in a truck stop parking lot. That's why I think it'd be fun. Why? Be quiet. That's why... I, Bill, ideas. I got ideas all the time. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I'm running out of reasons to procrastinate now. Me too. <laughs> Today's the day I put the hood back on, put the welting in. Mm. But I could I could talk you guys through what I'm gonna do today and, and that would waste Bill's time a little longer <laughs> if he looked for that. Sure. Let's hear it. <laughs> no. Nope. Because I don't have a plan. <laughs> just go down there and just kind of monkey my ass through it. I've showed you guys this, right? You know, people put things in their refrigerator. I don't know. It's fine if you I'll don't plan that. shit. You get more shit done. <laughs> America! <laughs> Isn't that funny? You Side tighten up that Bill. grouping there, Bill. Yeah, no, that this was Joy's. Okay, That's Joy fine. needs to tighten up her grouping. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, what about that little guy? Don't my, worry about that little group, guy. My grouping was much better. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about that little guy. <laughs> Magnets all over the place now. Mine was mine was much better, although I was a little down to the left. Yeah. So your wife, who's four foot nothing, has to have all her stuff as high up in the fridge as it can get. She's not four foot nothing. She's, she claims she's five one. I think she's not telling the truth though. Never really measured her. Uh, ridiculous. Going back to you telling Amazon, what's it? You say, I'm warm. I can just imagine it being programmed to go, well, well good for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, good for you. Good for you. You know, we'll probably uh, go shooting again. Bullshark really was into that. We'll take his. We're gonna take his son shooting. Yeah. <laughs> My wife might actually come. So. Dirty. I used to enjoy doing that. I wonder if his computer is anywhere near his Alexa. Oh, if rigor mortis ever makes it down to Florida, because he's actually trying to get his passports and stuff done now. He wants to come to Florida. I want to take him to the gun range. He loves guns. Did he have legal issues he was trying to figure out? No, that was uh, Bill. 
Atlantic Adventures, he can't come yeah, down because I, of something that happened like 20 years ago. You know, cost right. him like That's 10 food grand to get it. I'm going to stop barking. I forgot which one. That, yeah. Yeah. That's the he, same, same reason that Max can't go to Canada, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's the same. And uh, he could get it uh, expunged, but it would cost him like 10 or 15 grand or something. And Bill can't afford to do it. So it's too much money. <laughs> That's stupid that once it's out of time, it should get expunged for free. You shouldn't yep. have to pay for it. I'm for real going to go. I got to get work, to, work done. Yeah, what's so. happened to your sky? It doesn't look ah. blue. <laughs> okay, Donald. Is it? Howdy. Hey, Donald. All right, Donald. Donald's gone. Catch you later, Donald. Bye, Donald. Bye, Donald. Let's see if Bill gets the same uh, ambition as Donald here in a minute. Yeah, look, he already found a reason not to go back outside. <laughs> I got it. I can't do the coffee. It's a waste. That's a sin. No, it'll get done. You know, it will. It's not that hard. Did Actually, you ever get my that plan, trimming? My, plan, my plans today are really are not that big a deal. Did you ever get that trimming done you were talking about like six months ago? What trimming? You said you had I some. Don't, I don't do. I what? My Brazilian? No. Did you say you had some kind of trimming or something out in your garage? You were trying to redo or something? What? Uh, Corey. Maybe it's something else I'm thinking of. There was something Around you the were doing. Yeah, there was something like six or eight months ago. You were talking about getting done. You've been having the shit sitting in your garage forever. Oh, I no, thought it's not everything in his no, garage. Morning, Corey. Uh, oh, well, there you go. There's another thing I could plan to do today. <laughs> no, that's not done. No, I got that white vinyl um one by six trim sitting in the garage. I need to I need to cut it uh yeah, that's the garage, what I was... around the bottom of the garage door where the garage door the outer edges touch the concrete, the wood down there rotted. And uh, I replaced it. I did I did one by uh <gasps> six wood oh. years ago and painted that and made it look nice and then that rotted. So I'm gonna get because uh, you know it's got uh I mean, if you want to do treated, then you got to wait like a year for the they could paint it anyway because I want it to match the rest of the garage, you know, uh, door. So, uh, I instead I just bought some white vinyl and it's it's it looks like wood. Like, I mean, like to be like white vinyl wood trim. I mean, so I just, really, all I need to do is to cut the cut the pieces to the right side, attach it up. And I'll get it to eventually. To be fair, Mike, uh, changing a video card does take about five minutes. <laughs> they're talking yeah. shit about tim changing his video card you know he ain't never gonna do that <laughs> you know that's the one thing i'll tell you the truth i'm looking forward to retirement because i will enjoy doing these little projects every day you know it don't well, matter. i enjoy thinking I, about I, them you know, 60 hours a week or whatever i do and, and on my day off i just i just feel like just, you know doing nothing but after two, three days of doing nothing, I won't want to do nothing anymore. I won't want to do nothing anymore. Not no more. Just, Believe not me, no yes, more. you will. No, I'll start projects and I'll get them done. This house would be just just showroom clean. I want to paint. I need to paint. It's time to paint. We haven't painted the inside of this house since we moved in 14 years ago. We need we need paint. Well, except the bedroom. The one bedroom was done. You know, it should be done. actually that one was done. Doing too. a fresh uh, paint job though does really like make a house uh, look nicer. Yeah. <clears throat> I put that patio door in myself. I replaced the original single pane aluminum thing they had, and I and I put that that double pane with the with the with the blinds inside the glass. La la la. Uh, true. Around it nice, and I never repainted around it on the inside. It looks like shit. I keep putting, but do, I can't just do that because that's part of an entire wall. So I got to paint the whole area. So that that's is, my excuse. That's why I haven't done it. I need to get it done. That is true, Corey. That could turn into a two hour job then. <laughs> What's a two hour job? Changing uh, the, uh... it, yeah, Mike and Corey are making fun of Tim about changing his video card because he's been talking about it for like three or four weeks now and hasn't done it. Now, I talked about painting. Now, this doesn't sound so bad, but I want to replace my kitchen cabinets, too. So if I'm going to do that, I'm going to pull the cabinets out, and I'm going to paint the entire all the way top to bottom before I put the cabinets in. 
See how these things are all tied together? <laughs> I'm doing that myself, too. Replacing the, uh, redoing the kitchen. You're going to go all wood? Wood. Yeah. Well, not the that countertop. Fucking press board cabinet suit. I hate those fucking things. Well, these have the original from when they built the house in 1983. And they're, they're still holding together. They're shit. Are they press board or are they actual real wood? Well, the, the doors are wood. And the frame is wood. But there's a bunch of press board. You know. I don't say press board. Uh, the base. No, nah, they're wood-ish. I don't know. What well, press board? No, nah, they're, they're press board. <laughs> but they is have wood frames. They have to have wood frames. They won't hold together. Do what, Mark? Is that what we call chipboard? Yeah, probably. Uh, it's just, yeah. For Mike, they're, they're for wood chippings pressed for, together. Like, it's like saw like being pressed together and. Right. Yeah, that's press board. Yeah. Yeah, you we know, got I've the cabinet. I've already mapped it out. I already priced the cabinets. I'm going to have more cabinet space than I do now. I got I got a single standalone that I put at the end there to give a give us something like a like a, a spices and stuff, you know. But that'll go, and I'll actually have a. One of those tall double ones there. Extend the. I, I can make my counter. I'm gonna make my counter a little longer. Maybe a couple extra feet on there. You know, I got this all planned out. <laughs> Mike, eight years now. I can gym in there too. When something goes wrong, I fix it. You know, sure. so they're st still holding in there. You got Tim, Jim, and Corey all attacking Tim. He's not even here. <laughs> I want a deeper. I want a deeper double sink. You know, there's a lot of stuff I want to do, which is why I can't paint over here. <laughs> what I'd like to do is get rid of this popcorn ceiling. Well, uh, that shit is so messy. Uh, you could pay guys to do it. You know, you can have it done. It's not even not even that expensive, really, to have them get rid of it. Everything in Florida had popcorn ceiling because because of speed, in which you can build the homes. You don't have to do such a bang up job with the taping if you're going to popcorn ceiling it because you don't see it. Yeah, our house has popcorn ceiling. Yeah, popcorn ceiling and orange peel walls. That's the thing. Well, it's easy application too. You just spray it on. Just spray it on. Take you five yeah, minutes to do a if fucking. If you do a good job taping, you just paint. I don't. I don't I... Right. Because you can do you can spray on in a the popcorn ceiling. You can do one bedroom in probably five minutes, five ten minutes. Yeah, I have noticed so a lot of people are starting to get rid of that though over the last couple of years. I've seen oh, a lot of thing. There's contractors, they, that's how they make their living. That's all they do. Yeah. Take take, a, take get rid of it. That was I I think that was like wasn't that a big that was real popular, what, in the nineties, early two thousands? Well, like I said, this house was built in eighty three and it's got it. Uh, okay. My house was built in nineteen thirty four. Yeah, I lived in older homes in Pennsylvania when I lived there. Even older than that, some of them. I tell you, they, they, this house has good bones. Yeah, they did, because that, that's the way they constructed them back then. They didn't have any idea. You know, the engineering was just more wood. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, we don't use wood. <laughs> Everything's brick and mortar. <laughs> well, the inside, the framework is wood. Yeah, but all the walls nope. are all... all yeah, the wall. you, you, you'd have brick and mortar exterior walls. Yeah. No, we do not have wooden framework. All the internal walls are brick as well. Your inside uh, walls are brick? Yeah. Like if you go to hang a picture on your wall, you it's brick? It's brick with plaster on it, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, the way they do it here, it's all cinder block, and then they frame the inside of it and then put drywall and shit up. And uh yeah, no. Even if even if this was a brick house, it'd just be a, it'd just be a, or a cinder or a block house, a concrete block, and that'd just be the outside. 
No, everything's maybe, brick. Maybe the only uh, thing that's wood are the joists and the floorboards and the rafters. Even the roof is slate. I wonder if my dad's bearing load bearing wall if it's blocked because his house is blocked. He's got a block house. Well, there's anyway, different types of blocks. Sure. I mean, some of them are load bearing and some of them aren't. It depends on which blocks they've used. If they use breeze blocks or cinder blocks or actual concrete, concrete blocks. blocks cinder blocks sucks. So you you yeah. want you want concrete. David, are you going on this afternoon? Get moisture in through cinder blocks. Nowadays, when they, they build the houses here, they tend to do the internal walls and the inside of the double outside walls in blocks, and then the very outer shell in brick. But the old ones were just brick all the way through. All the way through. Yeah, and they put lattice up in plaster. But, yeah, nobody... You know that's a that's a lost art in this country. Now you, you just you just you just frame on the inside of it and put up a drywall. Or he said, and they can take an RGB hit as well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my roof is wooden rafters and eaves, but the roof itself is slate. <laughs> Dusty said, "Mark lives on a fallout shelter." <laughs> <laughs> Now this house is framed, unfortunately, but they uh, they did stucco the whole out of the, you know, it's kind of kind of like, which is pretty sturdy stucco. Yeah, because they mm. when did they start requiring the houses be built out of brick? Was it nineties? Uh, wasn't it requiring what? When they started requiring that you had all the they were all made out of. Uh, those Block? cement blocks. I don't think yeah. that I don't think that I don't think that's a requirement. I've never heard yeah. that. Oh, because all the new houses they're building here, all the housing complexes, like they're doing them well, all. They're, 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 they're prefer it's preferable. You know, people prefer that because of hurricanes. Right. But uh no, this, this is this is this is framed with with stucco. And you see my stucco <laughs> broke over here because of my you know, I cut that doggy, and I'll tell you what, cutting through stucco, well, that was fun. But I, uh, in fact, I had to cut the stucco to make that door fit when I when I put that door in. But uh, here, from the dogs over the years, in and out, in and out, beating, beating on it, just cracked along the bottom here, and actually broke. I don't know if you can see it. Cracked along the bottom here, and actually broke and fell down. Oh, wow. Really ugly. I just got it fixed though. Yeah, and I remember you showing that. Up. Uh, yeah, because you got that done a few weeks back, right? This was done a couple weeks ago. Still right. got to be painted, but yeah, they did a they did a nice job. I mean, because they, they cut, they didn't just fix from here. They cut all the way up to here, and there, and then fixed all the way, you know, around the bottom, and went all the way to there. So they did a nice job. Four hundred bucks. Gonna just take a chunk of stucco in there and get it uh, matched on the paint, or what? Four hundred bucks. I couldn't say no. Why would I? Why would I fuck around with myself and do it wrong? Mm. You know. Yeah, that wasn't. That's not too bad. What were you saying? I said, "What are you gonna have? You just got to go get the paint match to what's on there already, or what?" Paint? No, we're gonna paint the whole house. It's it's it, uh, that's due to it's it's been about ten years. <clears throat> These are all things I definitely wanted to take care of before the inspection. No, you definitely don't I want to show up of anything like hell. hell. Definitely don't want them showing up and seeing a bunch of fucking shit knocked <laughs> off the walls from the dogs. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing, nothing else even remotely major that needs to be done or anything. You said the only thing they're going to make a big deal about is probably your hot water heater. Well, they'll bring it up. They'll say they'll, when they, when the agent talks to me, they'll, they'll tell me that there was a, you know, it, it limits the amount of companies that'll insure you. Yeah. Why? Yeah, I, I, just, I should just fucking peel the label off it and put a fake one it's, on it. It's because they they look at it as a future hazard if it's over. What did you say? Fifteen years old? Because of rusting through the bottom of the tank and all that. Oh, the tank's been rust out and then leak all over the house. 
Yeah, they don't want to pay for water damage is what it is. That's what the, the way they're looking at it. <laughs> my, you, my boy but you know what? You can, you, can actually, you can actually take that off your insurance, internal water damage from your plumbing. It's, you don't have to have that. Because that's uh, they're looking at it as future proofing, so they don't it's have to pay out on a claim. It's a possibility of mold, right? But it's the future planning because they don't want to have to pay out later, so they're gonna right. Well, that's the replace. whole idea of inspecting the house, it's right? Mitigating, um, mitigating any claims. I got my boiler replaced three years ago, so not wrong with that one. I mean, it's a good, it's a ream, you know, it's actually a quality. The, the the water heater itself, even though it's only a thirty gallon tank, is it's like six seven hundred six hundred something dollars, almost seven hundred dollars. But then you got to pay a contractor to do it because it has to be permitted. So I'm going to come that, up with about twelve hundred bucks, something I could do myself. I could probably buy a nice four a decent four hundred dollar one and do it on sweat. What'd you say? I had to get permitted. Oh yeah. Uh, what well, yeah, is it? Well, a water heater. You you have to have you have to pull a permit on it. Dude, you got to, if I replace my front door, that door, that has to be permanent. For your front door? Yep. What the fuck? $75 permit to replace your front door. Is that just your area? Or? No. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's St. Lucie County requires it. Probably most counties wow. do because hurricanes. That's crazy. You got, they want to make sure that your door doesn't blow off when, when, when in the middle of a hurricane. I mean, they I guess to, that makes sense. When a contractor to do it. I mean, I did. I didn't tell them I replaced that patio door. <laughs> well, I replaced it with one with a higher rating anyway. So shut up, jerks. Mm. <laughs> I replaced my garage door. Nobody noticed. The whole thing, I replaced the whole thing. That definitely needs to be, you know. I mean, what is your rating on your garage door? At five. <gasps> you know that they actually. Uh... What was it about a few months back? They actually, the National Weather Service was talking about making adding a category six to the thing now. Well, I guess I don't know. I mean, have we ever? Is so it? I don't. Ever been, yeah, I don't the know, winds. Yeah. I don't know if there was just higher winds that have never been recorded before, and they said, "Well, because of that, we have to make a new category," or if they're just adjusting the wind speeds on the category. I think there's been some severe cat fives that. You yeah, could, no, I, could I think it went to higher wind speeds. Well, even no, a cat that's five that's has ready, a that's ready for cat five. I replaced that, and I didn't have a garage door opener when I bought the house. Either. I installed that. Machine. That's not that big a deal, except the fact there was no electrical outlet for it. Well, so far, how'd that happen? <laughs> so far, I haven't been through anything worse than a three. So, <laughs> but it's a matter of when, not if. So, it's going to happen at some point. Look, you've had two digestive biscuits. I'm now a lot closer quiet. to the ocean than you are, <laughs> boss. <laughs> Well, uh, from what I was told when I moved here, Polk County is like actually one of the worst counties that gets hit the most. So I don't know. Yeah, That's you, know, what you, I was you told. get hit. You get hit more often because you cross. Sometimes they cross the street from the Gulf, you know, right. and come across. Um, but by the time it gets to you, it's down to a cat one, you know, typically or one and a half or two. You know? Not, not, not the four or five it was when it hit Tampa, you know. Uh. I mean, as the crow flies, I'm only, I'm only four oh, miles from the Atlantic Ocean. Oh, I got some pictures I wanted to show you guys. Hold on, let me. Uh, if it's what, if it's the dick pics you sent me, I don't want to see them again. <laughs> well, then don't send me smiley faces back when I send them to you. Little <laughs> love heart emojis. <laughs> I mean, that's just the problem with with the insurance in there. They look at the map, and they if you take you take Google Map and you do the line to line. As your crow flies, it's like exactly four miles to the Atlantic Ocean, from and two miles to the intercoastal. But it's not like that's going to rise up and flood my house. Two miles, two. Hope not. I'm about fifty miles from the ocean, and three hundred feet above it. Yeah, well, that's two hundred eighty-five feet higher than I am. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So you're going to become a seaside town soon, if what they say is true. This, this, town, <laughs> this town had one of the worst flood disasters in recorded history, apparently, back in the 70s or whatever. I, I, I think it was the 70s. Well, look what Walmart has now. Was it the 80s? I forget what it was. What was that one that, uh, Justin, that hung over this town for four days? It was, was a tropical Andrew? storm. It wasn't even a hurricane. A tropical storm, but it... it Wait, is that the vinyl? It the water. Yeah, Walmart's got an entire vinyl section now. Look. They're selling That's because vinyls players. is a big thing again. Look, they're selling Rick records, records. players yeah. and everything. Look at that. Metallica. Yeah, what gold is new again. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I had to stop and take pictures of that. I was like, "Holy shit!" We've got yeah, a they... we've got a retailer that only sells music. HMV, yeah, but to see an actual big box store like quite that, a few small yeah. independent record shops as well. Still, well, I'm saying yeah. it's uh, to, for me to see like a record shop that's mom and pop wouldn't be so uncommon, but to see a big box store starting to carry them again, that yeah, really tells thing. you that. It's a thing. People I mean, buy it. Yeah, when you consider that. What's it? People people buy it, they'll sell it. Yeah. Yeah, Richard Branson started off with Virgin Records. Virgin Records no longer exists. Well, that's what I'm saying. To see a big box store selling it, that means that, it, yeah, it is really popular at the moment. Because they're not going to sell shit like that if it's not, you know, super popular at the moment. But I was just blown away when I saw it. I was like, dude, they had a whole aisle of just vinyl. I was like, holy shit. Mm -hmm. And they have a lot of those. those I kind of miss those days. I'm tempted, but I don't listen to music very often. So. But they have like all the old records. They had Metallica, ACDC, like uh, they had some Elvis records. <clears throat> I, uh, I mean, used to be kind of into it. I had a nice, I had a nice turntable, and it, that that you get the non-static cloth to clean the, to wipe the vinyl nice and perfect, and put it down and. And of course, there was days when I was poor and I was putting pennies on the back of the thing because so it stopped skipping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't remember I that. Those are tricky. You like two or three pennies. I on the back of it. Yeah, <laughs> couldn't afford one of them with a counterbalance weight on the back. Right, you didn't so, have you, you didn't have the money for yeah. one. Something like you know, it's where you could adjust the you could adjust it, so you just drop a penny on the yeah. back. Of it. <laughs> I didn't stop and thumb through them. I just kind of looked at the ones in the front, but I want to go back to Walmart and thumb through them to see if I can find. I want to find one specific one. I know um, it's just a reproduction. It's not one of the original ones, but. Me and my mates used to go into the record shops in Manchester and spend all day just flicking through all the records to see what was there. <laughs> He used to be a one in Preston called Andy's Records, and he never put anything out that's called. He just chucked it in. Mm, well, what yeah. threw, me, threw me off is I know vinyl has made a big comeback, but I would have never thought I would have seen Walmart selling them like that. That's what threw me off. I was like, oh, that's yeah, you're cool. You've that two or three times now. <laughs> <laughs> of course they have. Why wouldn't they? Why not? You know what they irritate you know me about them? They got out of computer components. Can't buy computer components, or you can't buy. I mean, you could buy junk, but uh, I used to go in. I used to be able to. You could buy hard drives. You could buy RAM. You could buy whatever you want. There, they they got out of it. Yeah, they sell now. They do sell a lot of good computer accessories, like they have razors and Corsair stuff, and a lot of good brands of accessories. But yeah, they don't have any like video cards or anything like that in there. Nothing like that anymore. I think they should start selling stuff like that. Well, not even so many, not even so much the, the, the other component, like like fans. I don't know. I, don't no, I actually went in there. To, if you're a builder, you, you can't go there. Yeah, I, I actually went in there to see if they yeah. had, when I bought my microphone, I went in there to see if they had any Corsair <laughs> fans in there. They didn't have any fans at all. No. Like that over here, we've got PC World. And back in the day, you could buy any bits you wanted to. Now, you buy a ready-built computer. Or nothing else. PC yeah. World don't exist. Yeah, they do. They part. No, they dropped it. They dropped PC World. Now it's just curries. Yeah. You know, I've never, I've never purchased. Besides laptops, I've never purchased a, a pre-built computer in my life. I've always put them together. Yeah, me too. Yeah, you can yeah, buy the pre-built. I would recycle the same case. I had this one case for twenty-something years. It had so many different systems inside of it. 
you know, until it does, until it got to the point where it wasn't deep enough because of the air cooling solution. Ever since about the late eighties, I've built all my own computers. I mean, there's nothing wrong with buying them. You know, you buy something with decent specs. You, you couldn't, you couldn't build it for what they sell it to you for. You know, but there's nothing wrong with that. If somebody doesn't want to go through all that. But I'd rather do it myself. Then you, then you, then you know your path. You know you can do with it. You know what you, how you can upgrade. You know, you know what you got. And you're, own, and you're, not stuck, you're not stuck with some weird Dell proprietary power supply or something. Yeah. Other than laptops, like you say, I think my only non home built <laughs> computer is my Mac. Talking about computers, Mac are not computers, they're power shit. <laughs> well, that's something else I wanted to do. The flea market's open today. I'm off every Sunday. We got this big ass flea market in Stewart. Really close to the meetup, by the way, if anybody wants to do this. Uh, uh, but there's a huge flea market in Stewart. It's only open Saturday and Sunday. And every Sunday, I think about, maybe I'll take a run down. And I don't go. But they got oh. a, I gave away my last laptop. All I have is this little Microsoft Go thing, which is fine. I was thinking, eh, maybe maybe I want to pick up a used laptop from somebody I can upgrade this and that. There's usually a guy there that they have them. You know, and they resell them and they're cheap, like 150 bucks, 20 bucks. David, you guys going live today or no? Yeah, probably. Okay. Oh, okay. Laura's Ooh. live at seven. Oh, Laura. It would be what, two, two or three yeah, hours? Three hours from now. Time. And I might go live in between. Yeah. We've now gone back to five hours. Okay, so yeah. yeah, that would be two o'clock then. Okay. Yeah, I was. I couldn't remember if you guys changed your time yet or not. And then Australia's next. Yeah, week. this morning. David, David, did you hear from Rob? Oh. No, he's not answering his phone or nothing. Call my messenger right now. <clears throat> That's weird. Well, well, he does live in Wales. I mean, it's a third world country. <clears throat> It'll be about okay, every, okay, everybody. I think I'm going to call it. All right, okay, David's okay. going to be David. You're going to be going on shortly, and then Laura's going on after that. Yeah, about, and then give me about 20 minutes, and I'll, I'll go live. I'll be back here at five. So, all right, catch on. Uh -huh. Everybody, thanks for being here. We'll see you then. Catch you later. Bye.